Today, we're going to be taking a look at all the classes, ranking them in DPS and Fun Factor. At the end of the video, I'll give you my top pick for DPS, Fun, and Tank. To start off with, we have the S class for DPS. Any of the top builds for the Sorcerer will come in at S class damage, and only the Necro Corpse Summon build also comes in at S class. Next up, we have the A class for DPS. Any of the top builds for the Rogue besides a straight evasion trap build would be A class for DPS. Now, a straight up trap evasion build with maybe a uh, rapid fire in it would not come in an A class, would probably come in more at a B class. For the B class, we have the Necro Tank, but that is also relying that you put at least one of your skills as Corpse Explosion. So even though you are tanky, you can still do a lot of damage with the Corpse Explosion. For C class, we have the Barb Non-Tank, Druid Non-Tank. They just have too many perks and skills for being tanky and resistance and just don't put out enough damage. There's just really no way even the non-tank versions to get them even up to the point of being able to do close as much damage as the Necro Tank can do. But they do come in uh, just slightly under the Necro Tank. And lastly, for the D-Class, we have the Barb and Druid Tank versions. For Fun Factor, we have the S-Class and it is only the rogue the rogue has very good mobility skills and it also puts out very good damage so while it does slightly less dps for the most part besides the sorcerer and the necro it definitely has the most amount of mobility which also gives it very high survivability for skilled players and it's very good for pvp with the stun so for fun we're putting the Rogue in the S-Class by itself. Right under it, I have the Necro Corp Summon build. Now, this is really because I really like this. The Fun build is a little bit of a personal preference. It can put out damage. It has aggro from the Summon. I love the Skeleton Army. I think it's really cool, especially once you got... 12 dudes following you around and my build which i'll share later i already shared uh the early version of it actually has 13 summons going off uh for the most part so i love that army behind me and i can deal a lot of damage create explosions in a lot of sections i just light the board up in black uh vial so i really love that i could have even borderline put it s but it really isn't s class like the rogue not for the fun factor at least so I have that in the A-Class and also the Barb and Druid non-tank. I feel are a lot of fun to play, especially for players that are skilled and can evade most of the attacks and want to get up right in the mix. Can you do a lot of damage with those classes? No, but are they a lot of fun to play? Yes. Next, we have the B-Class for Fun Factor. And I got the Sorcerer in there because I really just didn't see the Fun Factor in the Sorcerer. I love the damage, I loved how fast they could delete enemies, but not a lot of mobility, it's more waiting for your mana to get back up, spam spells, wait for the mana, evade while you're waiting, I just really didn't see the fun factor there. The druid tank and the barb tank, I think the druid tank, the druid could actually be like, um, maybe borderline A, because you're kind of always uh, changing in and out of being a werewolf or a werebear depending on how you build it, and you also get uh, companions. Potentially, I haven't seen the companions mid-game, what unlocks, if it's going to be viable or not. The Druid might end up being a little bit more fun. Uh, the Barb tank, though, is definitely going to be a B. And fun factor for our C is the Necro tank. You still get the Skeleton Army, which is kind of cool and you get a little bit of dps so it's still fun to play but i kind of felt like th that was at the bottom of the list as far as the characters for the fun factor is the necro tank build next we have my top pick for dps fun and tank so i'm picking the necro as my top pick for dps 
because they both with proper builds can delete 1v1s and I feel like the Necro is a little bit more consistent with deleting mobs. It can delete mobs faster than the Sorcerer can for the most part and also it has much better survivability. Yes, survivability isn't in the DPS category but they're kind of tied on that DPS level and Necro can pull aggro with its army which gives it higher sense of uh, survivability and it has better survivability perks. So I'm giving it to the Necro since they're tied in DPS, but I feel that Skeleton Army also adds a little bit of fun factor to the game and you get more survivability. So I'm giving it to the Necro. Now, as far as fun factor, could you have guessed there's only one in the S class in my list? I'm giving it to the Rogue. The Rogue is a lot of fun to play it might not be for everyone but the rogue is a lot of fun to play so yes just straight out fun factor no contest i'm giving it to the rogue for the tank i'm giving it to the barb now i feel the druid might be a little bit more fun to play as a tank but i feel the barb is a much more effective tank gonna have to wait a little bit late game to see if the druid picks up the slack but at the moment, I'm giving it to the Barb for being uh, more effective as a tank. And that is how I ranked the DPS for all characters, fun factor for all characters, and my top pick for DPS, fun, and tank. If you like the video, leave a like, comment, share. It helps others find the video. I hope this helped.